Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be showing you how to download files from an API with Laravel without having to write the contents of the files to disk. This can be extremely useful, for example, when uh, your users want to download files that are being served via an API request or when you want to export large datasets from a database. In this example that we're gonna be building, we're going to use Laravel's stream download method to make this happen. That means we are not going to be writing any JavaScript code, which will make the process of downloading pretty straightforward. So let's get to it. For the purpose of this video, I've already set up the route, the view, and the download button that you're going to be using. We're also going to be using the file that IO file sharing app so we can use their API to download our file. This is the API endpoint we're going to have to use. Now, let's head over to our controller and write down the download method. Alright, so now we have to write down the code that will call the file that IO endpoint, which downloads the file identify by the key. Let's start off by creating a try catch. So we can show the exception in case we encounter it. And uh, for this example, we are going to hard code the file key that the API wants. And now in order to make a request, we have to create a Gazelle instance and uh, tell it to call the file IO route. So we say new client, import a Gazelle HTTP client, create a request, client get, and the route. We open the file key. Awesome. And uh, as a good practice, I think we have to check if we have the status code HTTP 200. Yeah, let's do that. If response gets status code is not response HTTP OK. OK. Let's import a response uh, and simply print we have an error for now. In a real life scenario, you would um, throw an exception. So this response is having an issue. Oh, we imported the wrong class. All right, now let's get the um, contents of the response. Get body, get contents. And because on um, the response we don't have a file name, let's uh, hard code it. Time image that PNG. Um, because this method is going to respond with a HTTP response, we need to prepare the headers and specify the type and the name of the file. So let's create a headers array. And we say content type should be application octet stream and content disposition should be attachment file name actually attachment file name and append the file name All right, great. So finally, let's build the response. 
stream download. And we create a closure where we use the file. And echo the file here. And we have to pass two new arguments, which are the file name and the headers. All right, so I think this should be fine. Now let's head over to file IO and uh, upload our file. We have this hello world.png file. Let's grab the file key, copy paste into our code, and now we should be able to download the file from the service without having to first download it in our local machine. All right. And let's see if this is our file. Awesome. All right, guys, it's that simple to stream download large and small files from an API with Laravel. As mentioned earlier, you can use this method to stream files no matter where they come from, be it an API response or a CSV file full of data. This will not only save your bandwidth and storage, but will also speed up your development. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I was Carol, and I'll see you next time.